My name is Bill Levine. Um, I'm a research professor in the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering and in the, uh, associated with the ISR. Uh, I was educated entirely at MIT. I did my undergraduate there in electrical engineering. I got my bachelor's, I got my master's and PhDs also at MIT. I, for my PhD, I worked for Michael Athens. And after I received my PhD, I came here to the University of Maryland as an assistant professor. It was long enough ago that um, I had to um, be careful of being attacked by dinosaurs when I wandered around the campus. And uh, since, since then, I've uh, been at Maryland and uh, teaching electrical engineering and primarily in the systems area and doing research in various aspects of control and systems. My research interests have always been in uh, controls and more specifically in uh, two aspects of controls. One is the design of control systems, which is somewhat different from uh, you know, the pure theoretical results in control and also in uh, the control of biomechanical systems, in particular uh, the way humans control their body. Uh, because this is in fact an interesting control problem and it fits quite well with my interest in design because one of the good ways to learn to do design is to try to understand how somebody who really understood design did it. And so uh, the biomechanical controllers as evidence in humans and animals are examples of control systems that largely work very well and that uh, ver work very well to control complicated dynamics. Uh, my current research is again primarily in these two areas. I'm working on, um, on uh, how humans and other animals regulate their posture and to study this, I'm using techniques from model predictive control. The design problem for single input, single output control systems is uh, relatively resolved. Uh, some of these problems are hard, some of them are even impossible, but largely we know what to do. When systems have multiple inputs and multiple outputs, uh, the questions are much, much more complicated. There are very few design methods and only one fairly general one and that is model predictive control. Uh, using model predictive control to study how humans regulate their posture, a student of mine, uh, Yao Li, and I have managed to replicate some rather curious experimental results that were not explained by other methods.